sorry guys, I will eventually get paid of this. I did the same thing that I did with, um, uh, chapter 3. But this time I think I'll stop at chapter 5. Um, it just depends. Anyway, <laughs> now we're gonna talk to Mr. Coley. Anyway, sorry. Shot one side, and Tom started his crack goal, killing him with the Dr. Sky, and Tom's health. Threatening letter you sent Tom to the Dr. Sky. Yeah, it was stupid, but I was like, felt in his mind, so I just kept pushing for bigger and bigger donations. There's a limit to what I'm willing to give to a bunch of people. Big ones. Come on. We've got a dead girl and a threatening letter. Letter. Imagine how that looks to us. I know it. But I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, right. Those two cases. Are you taking a trip, Mr. Coley? No, I just got back from one. I'm an international business consultant. Just got back. Okay, maybe that's why he was disturbed. And if he was having a headache, he must be having jet lag. But gotta keep him. Trip. I have a car from Paul Thomas and then in Paris. I got back for him. Asked if he's tired. I he had such a beef with Chelps Phelps and Charity. They're asking for too much refuge, which was a good cause. But now I'm thinking of withdrawing my support completely. So now it's their fault that they need more money to help people. Come on. You feel so stingy. Why the change of heart? Considering the money, the folks money should get to the refugees to hear the lack of the resources. There's something very suspicious about the way the refugees run. It means suspicious. What do you mean, indeed? Wow. The end of the chapter. Very cozy. Cool. Detectives? Oh. This is what you think. I think you're right. I'm Martin Daniels, a friend. Sarah Some was Martin. overcome by the grief and I was, I was comforting her. But I, <laughs> I, I I'm I sure the detectives had no interest in that. <laughs> Shall we continue this conversation in the office? I'm Martin Dickens. I was just a friend. I'm just a friend. It's not what it looked like to me! You were very cozy with the boss's wife right here. Yes, you were! Family friend for 20 years. Jumps and paid my way to college and for never It's so warm in here. Good way to take him back, but I'm being told that. Let me finish the conversation and I'll stop. Even though I'm all like Four minutes into the video. Okay, I'm sorry. Is it one? Here's what's going on. Since you have that role here, financial director, Johnson decides what the money gets you to track, bills, and balance the all. Personally took on the running of the refuge, just in advance to the open more refugees, which takes up a lot of this new economy. Were you very close? Yes and no. We, we always got on, got on, but how close could I get? You may know there's a lot of different species. Good friends with Johnson? I don't think so. We used to play golf together once again. Why the change? He's been spending every waking hour on the foundation business. Like a man who possessed. <coughs> Mrs. Phelps? Oh, okay. No surprise find you here. All things considered. 
Oh, and her husband told you, what, for the great chapter? She was like, I had to get out of a little apartment. I thought I'd be jacked and stuff. I'd keep me busy, but that didn't work. And I just saw her. Haha, <laughs> he didn't deny it. So you admit that Mark Daniels is more than just one of your family friends? What about the bones? I really can't think really probably about that. You mean there's this kind of a cabin for us to go. There's no one suspect suspicion. 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 Whatever, there's no one to, to point out. Did you have a daughter ever come here? No, she was here to play classes. Disappointed that he she never shared his vision. <clears throat> um, anyway, um, that's the end of the video, I'll talk to y'all in the next video when we start chapter 6.